Hi everyone, this is Mike Nedge. Um, I'm going to take a minute here to do a review in regards to Cobra Grips. Um, bear with me, this is my first video review um, for Amazon, but um, let's get into it. What I have in front of me right now is actually two, two different grips. One's actually a female grip, and then I have the, the male grip. Um, for, for durability and stuff like that, this is top notch. I've had Versa grips before. Um, I figured that well, I needed to go buy a new pair, so I figured I'd actually give these a try. One of the things right away that I, that I noticed a difference in them is I like the nice big pad there, so it covers my whole hand because I got a little bit wider hands anyways. But I like the nice padding so it covers my whole grip so I'm not chafing my hands when I'm doing heavy weights. Um, I like the nice comfort. I think this is actually more comfortable than the Versa, thir uh, Versa grips. Um, it's double stitched. It's got a six millimeter, six millimeter uh, neoprene um, wrist wrap. Like I said, nice and comfy. Stainless steel wrap, so it's nice and durable. Um, but the biggest difference, and I've seen other reviews, and the biggest difference that I've noticed versus uh, that's I think it's a little understated going to this kind of style versus the hooks. Like everybody might have seen them in the gym, the actually hook, the metal hooks to put in your hand, or even the the wraps that you wrap around the bar about three or four times before you do it. The thing is I like about these is more safety. Because like I said, this is, I'm not in the gym, this is my wife's at home weights. But the nice thing I like about these versus, versus the actual hooks, what I used to use hooks, I've used them all, but what I like about these, especially if you get to be really heavy, heavy deadlifts, or if you do like single, single rows, and you put that weight in your hand, and like I said, you just put it in there, you can wrap, it, wrap your hand in there and hook it, <clears throat> Excuse me, but the nice thing I like about it is that if, say, if you start pulling that weight and it gets too heavy, especially if you're in the upright pull position and you get it and you start feeling extreme pain or you start pulling a bicep or something like that, you can drop it. I mean, you just let your fingers go and it's instantly the weight's out of your hand. And so I think that's one of the biggest understatements of this, this product is that it's probably one of the safest straps if you're going to use for a pulling strap. This is probably one of the safest one out there just because of the fact that as soon as you let go, as soon as you open your hands and let it go, it's going to come out. And versus, like I said, if you have the hooks like I've used for years, that you put those hooks in and you end up pulling a shoulder out or if you end up pulling a bicep, it, you still have it. I mean, you're, you're, you're attached to that weight versus this one. It's instant. Let it go and you're done. But, um, but anyways, one of the things that I... That, uh, when I originally bought these, I actually messed up and I actually ordered the women's ones. That's why I have a male and a woman or a female ones with here. Um, but my wife, my wife tried them on. She's gonna actually going to try them in the gym today. But uh, one of the things to keep in mind when you actually look on the Amazon and stuff like that, order and you look at black colors, make sure you're ordering the, the male one or the female one because they have two black ones. Because the female one will only do a wrist from four and a half to six and a quarter inches versus the male one, I mean, it's pretty much, I have a big wrist and I still have plenty of plenty of space to go to attach. So, but just keep that in mind, if you got a smaller wrist, the woman's one will do four and a half to six and a half inches. But I mean, if you're, if you're in the market looking for one, um, like I said, for, for durability and stuff like that, I mean, it's already top, you can feel it's top notch um, versus like even compared to the first or, third, or the Versa grips. Um, I have to say for comfort wise, I think this is superior to the Versa grip. I like it a little bit wider because it covers your whole hand. You don't, it just doesn't cover the middle of your hand. But I mean, if you're in the market to looking for one and you want to spend some money, I mean, realistically, this was about 40 bucks. I know the Versa grips, like I think I, uh, the one I, the, I found that I bought before were like 55, 56 bucks. So I mean, it's like a $15 difference, but I mean, to do the same thing, more comfortable, um, I would go with the Cobra grips myself any day uh, versus the Versa, Versa grips. Only thing I thought was a little weird that of the two is actually the female grips that I got actually comes with a bag, but the male grips didn't. I don't know what the reason why or whatever it is, but like I said, I'm just going to throw them in my gym bag anyway, so I don't really need this bag. But one thing that the female or the woman's version did do is it did come in a bag to put them in. So, but is, that is it. But uh, thanks for taking the time. But like I said, I strongly uh, recommend the Cobra Grips um, if you're looking for a nice, safe, quality uh, grips uh, to help you take any load off your forearms and your shoulders and stuff like that. But uh, I would definitely buy this again any day. Thank you.